a big night of fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. Money's belief that he can overcome anything is showing through. He's bubbling over with confidence. Here we go, Rock Smart. When Rock you get Smart. a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Should be a real interesting matchup here in this fight because no doubt about it, Ray has a target on him, and he's got a power puncher standing opposite him. Yeah, but that's what the good thing about being Sugar Ray Leonard is, because he's so solid in so many areas. He's technically solid, and you know what that means? That means defensively he knows what he's doing, too. So he's going to find a way to disarm this guy with the bomb. He knows how to technically, how to physically, how to defensively get rid of that power. SRL getting rid of that punch. Sugar Ray Leonard's punch is far off the target. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Halfway through round number one. Off the target by Sugar Ray Leonard. Leonard's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. You can sense it right away, Teddy. Looks like it's a tactical bout tonight. Well, that's what happens when you get two counter punches. Nobody wants to lead. Flush right hand to the head. Shake it off, shake it off. It's all right, it's all right. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Blocks the headshot. Head moving, baby. Come on, champ. The last thing either guy wants to be here, Teddy, is one-dimensional. The last thing you want to be in anything to be successful is one-dimensional. I mean, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be saying the same jokes all the time. Your crowd's not going to be there. Well, your opponent is going to be there all night long if you do the same thing. Sugar Ray Leonard stunned, and he is hurt. Big shot. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Leonard's trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Keep he moving. took a you shot, but he coming. came back Come with on. a right hand of his own. End of the round there, a round in which we did see the knockdown. And Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored, typically, how are they acting? What are you seeing on that? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You dropped. You're afraid to go in that room again. So put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will I'm not be afraid to go and back and in that room. All right? Upstairs, downstairs, and over again. All right. All we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that, no. Throw that away. I got it. Leonard's reached that fork in the road now. You get a moment to breathe, a moment to try to clear your head after being knocked down, and it's up to your mind, your body, your disposition as to how do you react and go forward. Solid left hand to the head. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Money. Oh, and he 
returns fire with a left hand. Good block by Money. Keep working the body. Halfway through this round. <laughs> Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Nice work on the right hand by Money. Keep moving your Money's head. defense on, keep is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Leonard's being very patient here, but it's with a plan in mind. Yeah, it is with a plan in mind, and that's why he's such a successful keep fighter. He's trying to lure his opponent into a mistake. Missed the body shot. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Well, he's trying to keep up a heck of a work rate here. Leonard's punching himself out at this point. Yeah, and that's not the worst part of it. The worst part of it is going to be if his opponent notices. Final 10 seconds of round number two. And we come to the end of round number two. Sugar Ray Leonard's good, clean, and effective punching damaged his opponent in that last round. This is a white belt. You are winning this fight. You keep doing what you're doing, and you got this in the bag. Number three is underway. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Sugar Ray Leonard. to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Sugar Ray showing defense, able to block that punch. That's what I want to see, baby. That's what I want to see. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. One of the great all-time storybook careers in boxing history, Sugar Ray Leonard. Obviously, turned pro, won a title at a young age, and then had the two fights with Hands of Stone, Roberto Duran, including the no boss fight. Solid right hand lands. Sugar Ray Leonard now looking to clinch after being tagged. And the one thing about Leonard, he's been in so many fights, so many amateur fights, He's been in a situation before where he knows what to do, Don't how to behave out. when he's hurt. So he's going to handle it. He's handling it the right way. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Good way to protect the midsection. Teddy, you saw that coming. You said he was waiting for that. Yeah, what he was doing was he was just pulling that shoulder Beat back a little bit. Come trying on, to draw Beat that to right push, hand, man. pull that shoulder back, be a ghost a little bit. Disappear on him, come back with the right hand. Not much action as he just ties up. He's doing great, champ. Keep going. There you go. There you go.
very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. That's it. That's it. Nowhere close that punch by Sugar Ray Leonard. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. I want you to pick his jabs. When he throws a jab, parry it away and you'll catch him, okay? You got that? It's gonna happen. You're gonna catch him, I promise you. Parry him away. His rhythm, okay? Don't fight his fight. There's no need to fight his style. You're not gonna win that way. Money's power has been the biggest difference in this fight so far, Teddy. As we start round number four and we take a look at your scorecard, he's up two rounds to one. Yeah, because of that knockdown, that was the difference. But it's still close enough for his opponent just using his jab, fundamentals, the things that he has to do to still get back in it. Able to dismiss that body shot. Money's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure, anytime you have speed, and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. One, two, baby, one, two, keep them coming, keep them coming. Keep moving, keep moving. Hey, man, come on now, keep your feet moving. Come on now. Oh, very nice. Smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. He returns the favor with an uppercut. Halfway through this round here. Come on, give some Great counterpunch, and I loved how he moved off to the side and then landed it. Goes up top with the right hand. Targeting that jab with the right hand behind it. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Leonard's been able to let loose. He's throwing punches. He's just not landing enough of them. Well, he's throwing them from a little too far away. He's not getting into that punching chamber. He's starting to launch them just a little too soon, and his opponent is warm. A well-placed left hand up top. He's always been so sharp with that hook. Sugar Ray Leonard, tremendous technique there. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Leonard's ability to get to his man paid off well there. He damaged him in that round. Making this harder than it has to be. Alright. All we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that no more. Throw that away. That's it. That's it. I need another round just like that, all right? You're doing fantastic. Just... Round number five has arrived. 
nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. He falls victim to that big hook. This looks like it could be just a matter of time now. Maybe a punch or two away from going down. Teddy, what's he got to do? Well, he's got to grab. He's got to find a way to stop the offense. And to clutch and grab, usually that's one way. Not able to land the headshot. Looking good, baby. You look real good. Halfway into round number five here. Nice, nice. Able to cover up that gut. <laughs> Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. He's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Hey, 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 hey. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Sugar Ray Leonard. So end of the round, a round in which he was able to get to his man there, stunned him there. He's kind of got momentum now, doesn't he, Teddy? Yeah, he does. And you know he's going to want to build on it. He doesn't want to get reckless, careless, but he's want to keep it going that way. You got to fight. You got to throw more. There you go. Look at that. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Hitting his nice mark work. there, going upstairs. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Yeah, you got this. You got this one, baby. And he's just not engaging in the fight. He clinches again.
90 seconds to go here in this round. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Leonard's wanting the counter punch here, but that doesn't seem the route to go here in this fight, Teddy. No, he has to be honest with himself and see that, but you know, people under pressure in all walks of life, you know, in the ring especially, you see it right away. You, you kind of peek at it right away, it's obvious. Maybe, maybe he doesn't want to see what he has to see because then he would have to discipline himself. He's not ready to do that. Then he would have to make the change. Maybe he just wants to leave it this way. At the end of the day, people are going to say, oh, that guy fought the kind of fight that, you know, hard to fight with, you know, and he has an excuse. Maybe that's what's going on right now. Guard up. Keep that Turns guard over up. that hook upstairs. And he's holding. Jab, jab, jab. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Just like Money's so just dangerous like with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. And that's the end of round six. Leonard's right in this fight. Now he's trailing on the cards, at least in our opinion, but it's there for the taking. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep that jab pumping, then throw the lead right hand. You're winning this fight hands down, baby. Got any more of these? I'm not going to stand here and watch you take those shots, you understand me? Now let's see some defense and more. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Money's leaving himself wide open there. You just can't do that. Well, you can do it, but you're going to get paid. You're going to eat some leather. You're going to get punched in the mouth. That's going to happen. Precise at all by Sugar Ray Leonard. Watch that! Move your head, move your head. Move your head. Keep working the jazz. Good, good. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. And he just holds on there. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Money's making for a very frustrating round now for his opponent because he's moving so much. He's really utilizing that That's ring and see, showing baby. that That's he's got the better footwork. See. Yeah, he's doing what the old times would say, Joe. He's giving angles, keeping his opponent off balance. His opponent is... Oh, a big shot comes home for him. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? Sugar Ray Leonard's unable to continue. This fight is over. Knockout.
as we saw, he was up on your scorecard throughout the evening. Money's now a winner by knockout. Listen, you want to win, you want to get to a title, you want to be successful, but you want to make money. And this is one way to ensure you're going to make money, scoring knockouts. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us ringside.